Where do I start? I think probably one of our better performances since I've been back here. Just all round play um, was great. Very solid, you know, very dynamic going forward. I thought our passing was clean. I thought all aspects of the game that I've really been focusing on and making sure that they, they know what I want, they did. Did a great job and much deserved win. I think um, hopefully it propels us to a good, nice, confident run. One of the different things it seemed was that the defense was really talking and communicating a lot to each other. Yeah, I mean we've you know we've we've done some some, some shape stuff and, and, and worked on the unit, but you know when you're on the field of play, you you've got to sort it out yourself because I don't know you know they could change the system at any point. They could play a guy underneath. They could play someone wide. It, it, so they've got to figure it out. And I think between Jason and Ike, they're actually good talkers. You know, Ike's a young man, but he, he does communicate, and he's, he's worked at Wake that does similar system that we play and, and understands it. And I think that Jason's become a leader back there too with his communication. And then the other thing was it seems that you really had a lot of speed at both ends of the pitch tonight with your lineup. Yeah, well, Ryan, I think Ryan Johnson, you know, I, I think he's my type of player, if, if, you, if you like to say that. He works hard, he's brave. Um, he, when he gets a chance, he scores. Not tonight, but you know, usually he's, he's dynamic and brave, and and, and he's, a, he's a team guy. And I think that um, I think with him and Wando, I thought they were great tonight. They started the pressure high, made it very difficult to play against us, and it was more like the team for me. Forget who's playing, but the way we play was more like what I want. And I think now we have an understanding of what it takes to shut teams down here. There'll be times when we don't play one blues, but I feel if we can play that, you know, most of our home games, we're going to be fine. Frank, is it, um, is it one of those cases in which, uh, I mean, you worked so hard in the first half and you deserved the goal, probably, arguably you deserved the goal. You didn't get it. Um, in, in the last couple seasons, that came back to bite you guys. But Bobby Combi stepped in and saved, yep. made that big save. Yep. Even things out, and then you got what you deserved. I mean, is, did you feel like it was... You're making your own breaks right now? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, the, the big thing in, in soccer, you've got to take your chances when it come. I was looking at half time and we need to score if we can, you know, before half time, but it wasn't to be. What was good about it, we can get in, regroup, and say, hey, you've got to make sure you do exactly the same thing you did first half. You can't, you can't start to sit back and just try and catch them on the break. You've got to force the issue, make sure that we're putting them under pressure. And most of our good chances come from us putting them, them under pressure, you know, by, by making it difficult to play in their own half and, and tackling and fighting. I thought it was a great dis display of fighting for the ball tonight. And good things happen when you do that. Frank, obviously, if Arturo was healthy, Chris Wondolowski probably wouldn't have been out there. I mean, yeah. What kind of a performance was this like for him? As a great. I mean, to score a goal um, and play very well. I thought Chris played excellent tonight. So he's, uh, he's done real well, and I'm very happy with him. What I know you used a lot of reserves on Wednesday, but were you concerned at all because it was such a heartbreaking loss that there was going to be kind of any kind of effect physically or even psychologically, even though um, not, not really. the same guys uh, played? Yeah, well, Romero, Brandon yeah. McDonald played and Romero, Joe Jertson, I think, were three that played. Uh, all played the balls. Yeah, yeah Steve but and, I, and Steve didn't play the whole no, game, but, he, but, but if you look at those three guys in this game, no problem. So the fitness is good, you know, they've always taken care of their bodies after, after the Wednesday. We may struggle if we have to play another game on Wednesday, but we don't. We've got a week off until we've got to achieve us, so they'll be fine. Um, I thought it was a good all-round performance by everybody, actually. But after the game um, midweek, I said to him, you've tied a game. We lost on penalty kicks, but we tied that match. Okay, it's a good team. So we beat Chicago, we tied in Salt Lake, we just beat New England. So, you know, that's a positive. Frank, Frank, you and John Doyle have talked a lot about the improved depth of this roster. Is, is a performance like Chris is kind of a sign of that? Absolutely, but Chris won us two games last year. I think you know he scored the winner against Kansas. Maybe and he scored maybe the game winner against Seattle. I think he scored in that game. But whether it's a game winner or not, I don't know. But he's he's valuable. You know, I don't know how many goals he got, but you know, Chris just really works hard every day in training. And when he gets his chance, he's not afraid to play. And I think that's a good sign of a a, a sign of a good pro. So you weren't concerned about firepower going into this with the, um, I mean you... Just off the bench I was a little bit. I, I, I didn't think we, you know, and there's no disrespect to the guys on there, but we didn't really have a really recognized forward that was kind of waiting to go on. You know, Eduardo, Cornell, uh, Arturo, obviously been playing up front for us, and um, Scott Seeley are all not available. So maybe a little concerned, but once we got the two, I was like, I wouldn't put them on anyway.
Talk a little bit about Ike Opara tonight, two goals in two games and how the rookie's settling in for you. Great. Um, you know, he flies back to, work, uh, to college, does his, you know, does his thing, comes back sort of Wednesday night, but it's working. So for me, he's settling into the system of playing. I think he's a perfect um, example of how we want to play because we're trying to press the opposition. He's very quick. He doesn't get beat. So we can really push and, and make it difficult for teams. So any ball over the top, Ike's got and Jason's got. So it helps. And in this game, you started Steve Bettisher over uh, Chris Leach. Talk about that and his well, Steve, performance tonight. Steve did really well in Chicago and deserved to play in this game. And I think that um, we've got another good young one on our hands. I think he's, he's, he looks assured and confident. Um, but, you know, if you go back to Ike, he's, he scored two goals in two games. You know, and for me, really, the future is very bright for him. Thank you, Pat.